And now, That Financial Guy Show with Keith Wilson. Hey, look, there are many different types of retirement accounts out there. And two of the most popular plans are the 401k and the Roth IRA. So you, you may be wondering, what's the difference between these two plans? So in this video, I'm going to be discussing just that. But before we do, if this is your first time here, my name is Keith Wilson. I'm a practicing financial advisor, helping people along their personal finance journey. I hope you find this video valuable. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. All right. First of all, uh, I'm going to be talking about the traditional 401k plan in this video. And some employers offer a Roth version. But again, this will be covering the differences between a traditional 401k and a Roth IRA. Okay. Both 401k plans and Roth IRAs are retirement accounts and offer some advantages and incentives for you to save for retirement. So let's get into the differences. A 401k is an employer-sponsored plan. You can't just you can't just go out and open up a 401k plan on your own. It has to be offered by the company you work for. And 401ks will have their own investment options. You can select how your monies are allocated, but they're kind of somewhat limited. Whereas a Roth IRA, that's an individual account. This is called self-directed, meaning you have complete control on how the monies are invested. So it's not through your employer. You as the individual will be opening an account with whatever institution you choose like a brokerage account or a bank account or whatever. Now, let's talk about the money that goes into these accounts, and this is known as contributions. The contributions you make to your 401k account, that's deducted from your paycheck. You simply tell your employer how much you want to be deducted. Usually, it's a percentage of your pay, and then they deposit that into your 401k for you. Now, with a Roth IRA, the contributions you make are up to you, not your employer. Once you set up your Roth, you can add money to it as you see fit, either you know, by check or a bank transfer. You can set up an automatic deposit from your checking account into the Roth IRA. Now, next thing you need to know is there are limits of how much you can contribute to both the 401k and the Roth IRA. With the 401k, the maximum contribution uh, that, that you can contribute is 20500 in 2022 and 22500 in 2023. And you can contribute more uh, than that if you're over 50. If you're over 50, that's known as a catch-up provision. So you can, you can put in an additional $6,500 in 2022 and $7,500 in 2023. Now, the Roth IRA, they have contributions limits as well. And the maximum contribution into a Roth for this year, 2022, is $6,000. And that increases up to $6,500 in 2023. And, and Roth IRAs, they have that same uh, catch-up provision as well. It's only $1,000 if you're 50 or over. Now, what about income limits? Can you just make as much money as you want and still contribute? And the answer is yes or no. Here we go. With a 401k, there are no income limits. You can make as much as you want and still max out that uh, 401k. Now, there are some income limits uh, that pertains to the company match, but you can still put in the maximum contribution into uh, the 401k. Now, with the uh, Roth IRA, there are income limits. So if you make a certain amount of money, depends on if you're uh, filing single or married filing jointly, once you make a certain amount of money, then you cannot contribute to a Roth. I'm, I'm going to put those uh, figures up on the screen. There's also a phase-out period. It, once it reaches a certain level, your income, whether, again, you're filing single or married filing jointly, in between this phase-out period, you can still contribute, but maybe not as much. And ultimately, it reaches that one level where, nope, you can't 
contribute to a Roth. Now, you can still do a Roth conversion, no matter what your income is, or what is called a backdoor Roth. I'm not going to get into that with this video. I've done videos like that before. I'll leave a link for you on that. But just keep in mind, there are income limits in order to contribute to a Roth. Now, let's talk about how contributions you make into each of these type of accounts. How are they taxed? With the 401k, any contribution you make, that's deducted from your taxes. And this is called pre-tax contribution. For example, if you make 100000 and you contribute 5% of your salary or 5000 into that 401k, then you're only taxed on $95,000. So contributions can reduce your taxable income. And then going forward, that 401k is growing tax deferred. Now I say tax deferred because at some point you do have to pay taxes on the money and that's when you withdraw it from your account, usually at retirement. And when you withdraw money from it, it's taxed at your ordinary income tax rate. Now, with uh, Roth IRA contributions, money that you put in there, you won't get a tax deduction. So you make $100,000, you contribute $5,000, you still pay tax on your $100,000. So there's no tax break going in, but then from there on out, it is growing tax-free. And, and when you pull it out, you would pay zero in taxes. Now, there are certain rules that you have to follow, which we'll, we'll get into a little bit later. Now, besides tax treatment, of the contributions, another big difference between the 401k and the Roth IRA is matching contributions. So some 401k plans offer a company match, which is typically around 5%. So for example, if your salary is 100000 and you said, I want to contribute 5% of my salary, and the company says, we're going to match dollar for dollar up to 5% of your salary. So you put in 5,000 in this case, they put in 5,000. Think about that. Then the company would contribute that money. It's free money to you. 10,000 went into your account and you only contributed uh, 5,000. So company match is a big difference because with the Roth IRA, there is no company match. I mean, it's just you. So you don't have that free money that's going in. Okay, now let's talk about you want to withdraw money from this account. How, how are withdrawals treated with taxes and things like that? We call it distribution. So if you withdraw money from your 401k before you're 59 and a half, then there would be a 10% penalty and you pay taxes on the amount you withdraw. If you're over 59 and a half, you would avoid the 10% penalty, but not the taxes. If you're still working after 59 and a half, some company plans will offer what is called an in-service withdrawal, but some do not. So you need to check with your plan to see if it's allowed. Now, Roth IRAs have their own rules when it comes to distributions. In order to avoid a 10% penalty and taxes on your earnings, you must have had the Roth for five years and be over 59 and a half. However, I got to say this, anyone at any age, at any time can withdraw their contributions without taxation or penalties in the Roth. Now, keep in mind, these accounts are, were meant and designed for retirement. So by withdrawing money from them before retirement, it could take away from your future retirement income goals. And also, you could incur penalties and taxes. So after seeing the differences between these two, you might be asking, well, well, which one is right for me, right? And the answer is this. It depends. It's, it's really about taxes. If you think your tax bracket is going to be higher when you retire, then consider having at least a portion allocated to the Roth uh, for that tax-free income it could provide. If you're in a very high income tax bracket now, you may need to shelter some income to get that tax deduction. And that's where that 401k comes into play, not to mention the company match. So I know there's going to be a lot of questions about this. And if you do have questions, 
please reach out to me. Uh, there's a link below where you could schedule some time to talk with me personally, and I'd be happy to go over it with you. In the meantime, I hope you found this uh, video valuable. If you did, please, again, hit a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. We'll see you next time.